Section thirty one of the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Raven edition. Volume five. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Brett Hirsch. The Sleeper by Edgar Allan Poe. At midnight in the month of June, I stand beneath the mystic moon. An opiate vapor, dewy, dim, exhales from out her golden rim, and, softly dripping drop by drop, upon the quiet mountain top, steals drowsily and musically into the universal valley. The rosemary nods upon the grave, the lily lolls upon the wave. Wrapping the fog about its breast, the ruin moulders into rest. Looking like Lete, see, the lake, a conscious slumber seems to take, and would not for the world awake. All beauty sleeps, and lo, where lies her easement open to the skies, Irene, with her destinies. O oh, lady bright, can it be right, this window open to the night? The wanton airs from the treetop, laughingly through the lattice drop. The bodiless airs a wizard rout, flit through thy chamber in and out, and wave the curtain canopy so fitfully, so fearfully, above the closed and fringed lid, neath which thy slumbering soul lies hid, that o'er the floor and down the wall, like ghosts the shadows rise and fall. O lady dear, hast thou no fear? Why and what art thou dreaming here? Surely thou art come, her far-off seas. A wonder to these garden trees. Strange is thy pallor, strange thy dress, strange above all thy length of tress, and this all solemn silentness. The lady sleeps, O oh, may her sleep, which is enduring, so be deep. Heaven have her in its sacred keep, this chamber changed for one more holy. This bed for one more melancholy. I pray to God that she may lie Forever with unopened eye, While the dim sheeted ghosts go by. My love, she sleeps, Oh, may her sleep, As it is lasting, so be deep. Soft may the worms about her creep, Far in the forest dim and old, For her may some tall vault unfold. Some vault that oft hath flung its black And winged panels fluttering back, Triumphant o'er the crested palls Of her grand family funerals, Some sepulchre remote alone, Against whose portal she hath thrown In childhood many an idle stone, Some tomb from out whose sounding door She ne'er shall force an echo more, Thrilling to think, poor child of sin, It was the dead, who groaned within. End of section 31